watching MissMalini.com. It's not technically a trap. My reason, my reason for saying uh, I wouldn't do a love story is I always felt I didn't have anything new to tell in terms of a story where two people fall in love. Because we see at least a hundred per year. But I saw this little Taiwanese film called Keeping Watch when I was on the jury uh, of uh, an Asian film festival. And the, the soul of the story about this woman who runs a clock store and a stranger who walks into a store and gets his watch repaired and keeps coming day after day just grabbed me. And some of the quirkiness and the way it was set up was so interesting that uh, I said, why not? But anyway, so uh, once that sort of grabbed me, I said, maybe, just maybe there's a story in here that I could Indianize and use it to tell uh, a story which I haven't done before. But in my defense, all I'd like to say is I've always said I do a movie in every single genre. I think this is part of that process. Uh, he, uh, my sets are uh, places, uh, you know, is a place primarily where people work. But the difference in this was that uh, this guy can sit still for a minute. So. Uh, the moment I'd yell, start, he'd be running all over the place and, you know, half the time was spent in going run Vijay, run Vijay, run Vijay, you know. But, I will admit to the fact that uh, he lightened the mood, but it was okay because he was still giving me perfect takes. Because, as far as I'm concerned, if you do your work well, everything else is okay. And, um, uh, Especially after Door, I've been looking for every opportunity to cast Aisha. It's just been, uh, uh, you know, when I get ready to do a film, a lot of times I'll, I'll, I'll see if there is a potential of a role for her. And when she'd taken this two year hiatus and she said that she was thinking of coming back, uh, I said, you know what, I have the perfect script. So uh, it was a very obvious choice, I think, once I got ready to. Uh, do the film. Um, when she finds the material, like uh, she did with Moore or with Dole, she pours her heart and soul into it and you actually get to see a professional at the peak of their game and watch it because like I always tell you before each movie comes out, go see what I've done new this time and I really hope at the end of two hours you come out and say uh, I was entertained. I said over color before, she said no Riyas, no, I'm not doing a white. She was keen on wearing a bright, bright color. color. And, and she was suggesting uh, a pink, but I wanted to do something yeah, different. Yeah, but you wanted to do something different. Yeah. And the purple and green uh, put together look so amazing. I think that Anbija also said that people, uh, what we prefer is that people don't completely jump into somebody else's clothes because they look gorgeous. Rather have something made around yourself so that you don't end up looking like a clone of somebody else or you're comfortable to wear. I love this size. Yesterday they sent it to me at someone else's house and then they opened it out and I said pack it up quickly because there are other people and they might want this. So I said, I'm not going to get it. If you haven't seen me before, or if you haven't seen me before, I've never seen it. It's a very rare occasion when I'm wearing a suit, but they're very special, just like today. And it's a very formal, very classy look, which is giving us that twist, that edge to go to the film. Thanks so much. One thing is a constant is very high heels. Other than that, I like glamorous things and I like things that are maybe a bit loud and just go with my mood really. I'm, I'm a fun person. I like loud things. But I don't really follow uh, any one person in particular. I think that every style should be